We've been talking a lot recently about all the snacks, all the cookies, Ben, all the carbs, all the eating we're doing while we stay at home and stay safe. So how do you stop doing that if you're so inclined? Joining us with some tips is registered dietitian Nisha Saxena. Good to have you with us on your morning. Help us, Nisha. Great to be here, Anne-Marie. Thank you. Uh, please help us because we are at home, we yeah. have time on our hands, and the first thing a lot of people do yeah. is head to the pantry. Uh, why is it important to follow a schedule, which is your first tip? The most important thing about following a schedule is the fact that our bodies like to follow a schedule, and we're used to doing that in our normal lives. So in this current state of affairs, uh, sometimes the being unanchored and not really having a schedule in your day of when you wake, when you sleep, and when you eat, it can be a real trigger for emotional eating. So we want to try and stick to a schedule as much as possible, um, especially if you have young kids at home. It really helps everybody stay on board. You suggest people stick to what you call simple foods. What are those, and how does that help? Yeah. Well, I mean, being at home in front of your kitchen all day, maybe uh, you have the urge to bring out your own Julia child, but keeping it simple with meals that you already know how to make uh, with the food that you're able to get right now is really key. Things like beans and rice, uh, cereal with milk and nuts, um, sandwiches can be, and pasta dishes are very, very simple. Most people know how to make those. We don't want to overcomplicate things right now and add stress. Some of those foods, so Nisha, are called comfort foods for a reason, and we need some yes. comfort right now. But you have a tip uh, to try to make it a little healthier. What's your tip? I do. You know, we don't want to pull away comfort foods. They are a default for many people in terms of having comfort during times of stress. We've often learned these things as children. So keep those comfort foods in place, things like mac and cheese, um, pizza. But what you can do is what's called nutritionally wrap them. So adding some fiber and some protein to that meal, um, such as adding beans to a rice dish, adding nuts and seeds to a big bowl of cereal, having vegetables with your pasta or a protein source, it allows you to enjoy those comfort foods, but at the same time, you're giving your body a little bit more of what it needs, that protein, that fiber, and that can help you feel better over time and is actually nourishing you at the same time as comforting you. I have a feeling you're not talking about cheese whiz and celery. Anyway, you also want people to <laughs> unplug when it comes to eating. Why is that? I want people to unplug because, you know, even in non-COVID times, uh, is sitting in front of a screen, a laptop, a news feed, that's not a great idea. It really promotes that mindlessness of eating. And so what we want right now is for people to be connected to their own hunger cues. And unplugging, being away from computers, screens, laptops is very important because then you're really sensing, is your body actually hungry or are you being driven to eat just because you're bored or you're anxious or you're nervous? Um, it's something that can really help you tap into what your body is saying as opposed to what your emotions are saying. And also the news feed, as important as it is, um, it can be very triggering for a lot of people in terms of emotions such as anxiety. Hmm. So why is that? Why is it when we're bored that we go to eat? Like why not go for a walk or do something else? I think it's just a default mechanism. It's probably something that's ancient in terms of how we developed. It's sort of a safety, a feeling of safety. If we don't know what's happening, I think our body and our paleolithic brain, our snake brain probably tells us we need to eat in case something dramatically bad is happening. So it's probably really genetic from many, many, as many, many years ago. Nisha, I wanna thank you. This is all great advice, especially because we're looking at heading into the weekend. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.